Right now, a dad and daughter from Kalamazoo preparing to launch a camera into space. Alex Yokos joins us live in the newsroom for a closer look at their out of this world summer project. Alex. Kirk, the summer project has actually spanned three summers. Mark and Catherine Gilbert designed their own instrument pack, built it from the ground up, and earned ham radio licenses to make this long anticipated launch possible. Check out what they've done. They've rigged their little orange capsule with sensors to measure changes in temperature and pressure. They'll attach it to a six foot weather balloon, which will rise through different layers of the atmosphere. The onboard camera will be snapping photos of the Earth until the balloon hits 90,000 feet. At that point, the balloon will burst and the parachute will open, hopefully bringing the entire pack safely back down to Earth. The pack is complete with a GPS so they can track the balloon's progress and Catherine's favorite toy just for fun. The My Little Pony is actually named Rainbow Dash and she, Rainbow Dash in the TV show, she loves to fly. She flies everywhere. She flies fast. She does tricks. She, she loves to fly. So I'm like, okay, we've got to send her up into space. Now, just in case they do lose track of the pack, the Gilberts have included a $50 reward for anyone who finds it and returns it. They say it's all worth it. It's been an incredible learning experience along the way because we weren't, we had never done this before. This touches on every piece of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, you know, this is a really, you know, the culmination of a lot of different fields and different areas. Uh, the launch was planned for this morning, but due to weather, it has been switched. Now they'll be taking off at 9.30 tomorrow morning from Menden High School's athletic fields. The Gilberts predict the pack will land about 12 miles southeast of there. As soon as they retrieve it, we hope to share their awesome Earth photos with all of you. Live in the newsroom, Alex Jokic, News Channel 3.